Hey, this is Ryan Gordon, and I wanted to show you the latest thing we're working on for Dragon Ruby. Now, anyone that's ever seen a Dragon Ruby sample has probably seen Flappy Dragon, so I'm sorry if you've seen this before. It's a Flappy Bird clone, you smack the space bar, the dragon flies. Okay. Um, but this and every Dragon Ruby game actually runs Ruby in a background thread 60 times a second, and it sends packets of information to the main thread every six, 60 times a second of what to draw. And... We do that for a lot of reasons, and it's turned out to be interesting and good, but we thought it'd be interesting if you could take that stream of information and write it to a disk instead of just to the rendering thread. So we've done that. You can tell the thing, please write out to disk, flappy.render. Now I'm going to play this real quick. I'm going to take my usual strategy of going way too low and then going way too high and then crashing. There we go. Hang on. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Okay. Every time. Now let's see. I hit escape, go into the menu, and then I'm just going to quit the program. So now we have... Flappy.render, the file we just wrote. A couple of megabytes of information, and if you were to look at the bytes themselves, you can see you know, file names of graphics that we drew, drew with and text that we drew to the screen and stuff like that. Um, so we wrote this thing called Dragon Ruby Replay that you give it the game you want to play and the render stream you just recorded, and it will play it back. So you can see the thing you just did. We think this could be useful for... Now I'm not touching the keyboard now. This is just running on its own. Um, we think this, there's low and high and then crash, uh, we think that this could be useful for sending QA things, saying, look, this is doing the wrong thing on my system, here's exactly what it looked like, sending it back to the developer. But we also think it could be interesting for other reasons, so we've added this option to Dragon Ruby Replay to generate an MP4 video, and you can see us in this background window piping it through to FFmpeg, um, and we're going to render as fast as we can here. Zoop, there it goes, and FFmpeg will catch up in a moment and be finished. And then you have an MP4 video of what you just re uh, replayed, which you can upload to YouTube or send out, put on your web page or whatever you want to do. And there it is. Uh, maybe I'll get better in the third replay of this. Let's see. Nope, still going too low, still going too high, still crashing. I'm so good at this game. Anyway, you can jump around and you can see that it's an actual video. Um, so that's all interesting, but we thought another useful thing for this to do would be to make this easier for the art pipeline. Now, my Programming skills are fine, but my art skills are terrible. So here is me writing a little Legend of Zelda clone, and I'm going to just record a replay of this so that we can uh, run this back in a second. As you can see, this is kind of like, you know, abstract Zelda, but you can probably guess what scene from the game this is. Um, oh, maybe I got this time. Let's see. Ah, hooray. Okay. But, I mean, it's just literally blocks in different colors. Now, you could take that and send that to an artist and that replay file and say, just start replacing the art one by one and just run this replay to see what it looks like as you go. Let's just make sure this works. Yep, okay, this is the thing we just did. They're moving. Okay, cool. And then as they replace things, it can look like this. You know, if your artist is uh, Google Images, you know. Um, but there's the thing we just did, but now it looks like an actual game. And programmer art got away with it for a while, and then when you had to bring the pros in, you could bring the pros in. So that's how that works, and I think that'll be useful for a lot of reasons. For example, if you want to make Final Fantasy and you don't want your artist to have to play through 140 hours to see what the final boss fight should look like, you can just send him just that scene or whatnot. We think it'll be useful. Uh, we're just getting started with this concept. I think we can come up with a couple other useful uh, devices for it. So I hope you like this. Uh, stay tuned. We have more coming up. Bye.